What really set me off on the course for this episode, though, was trying to figure out which component library to use for the natural language processing chatbot that ChatGPT was having me create as its boss. Um, so like I mentioned, I actually did go through and sketch out the UI and I built out a basic chatbot in React, um, but I got really frustrated when I went to actually go and build the UI. Um, and so there is a bit of a backstory here before we get into when I think React should actually be used in 2023. Um, but I promise it's necessary for proving my points. So it just stick with me for a little bit. It won't be too long, but I'm just going to go through a bit of a backstory. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to build this chat bot and I got frustrated pretty early on. Um, so I was looking at the main component libraries because I'm like, I don't want to make all these components from scratch. I thought about it and it was like, yeah, I don't feel like it. And so anyways, I was going to, I check out material UI, tracker UI, a whole bunch of component libraries. Um, and the first thing I was looking for are layout components. So I've got a blank slate. Um, in my sketches, I had like a, a little navigation bar at the top, you know, very classic. And then below that, um, because chat GPT insisted on it, you know, this calendar. So it had like this calendar component. And then below that was, um, just like the chat log, the, the conversation, um, that you could have in any chat, right? Uh, so it's like an avatar and, and some text. And then below that is just a text input. So super basic. Um, but it's very application-like. Um, like if I was developing an a desktop application or a mobile application or whatever, even a web application, I want all of these components to fill up the screen for the most part, unless the screen's gigantic, I guess I can have some white bars on the side or whatever, but like, um, I, I don't, yeah. So, so I was like, okay, I need to lay these components out on the screen. And it was like, why is like, when I went to these component libraries, I was like, this should be the very first thing they talk about. This should be front and center is layout components. And, it's not the case at all. In fact, I couldn't find in any of the major ones, any good layout components. And maybe this is something I'm curious if other people have thought of this too, but I've had a lot of experience um, coming from like desktop uh, application development from decades ago at this point. And uh, those have these great you, you always start with these great layouts. You say, hey, what is my layout going to be for this container? And in fact, some of them force you to choose the layout. And it works really well because you're like, okay, so this container, the layout is stacked. This container, the layout you know, goes uh, in row or columns or whatever it might be. There's a whole bunch of different layouts, but you the way you build an application UI is you have a container, and then inside of that container, you select the layout. Inside of that, you can add more containers that have different layouts, but it's all based on these containers and these layouts. And you can add spacers and, and things like that. So it sort of squashes things to the top or the bottom or the left or the right. Um, and you can add paddings and margins and, and whatever like you'd expect. Um, but it, it's all very quick and simple and it scales really well from a, a nice mobile screen to a full desktop screen. And another big thing is these older traditional um, desktop applications have like built-in um, navigation bars, like uh, whether on Linux or Mac OS or Windows, you've got file menus, edit menus, and it's very standard. And in web development and web applications, for the most part, we do the same thing. We all have our hamburger menu and, and whatever at the top. And so I'm going into this thinking, I, it, like, this should be really basic. It should be like, hey, I'm starting out. All right, this is the standard navigation bar. And then within this, here are your layout components. And then here are the other components, right? Um, but it just doesn't work that way. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. If I'm missing in Material UI or these other big component libraries, if I'm missing how to do this, then 
missing these components. And I know some of them kind of exist. Um, but when I actually went to implement this and like I have for many other applications in React before this, it was like, basically, I feel like I'm dropping down to Flexbox and it's like, yeah, use the box component and, you know, set these different Flexbox things on it to achieve what I'm talking about achieving. And I'm like, why do I need to do this every single time? I feel like I've built this application skeleton, as I call it, so many times in React. Um, and yeah, so it's like, I don't want to get into the minutia of Flexbox every time. It's unnecessary. Like it just shouldn't be necessary when we're developing applications. Um, and so I'm like, okay, this, I'm developing an application. I'm using component libraries that seem to be made for developing applications. I should be able to just plop my components down, set my layout types and everything should just fit together and it should work great but I couldn't, this didn't seem to exist. I even tried this new component library I hadn't tried before called Gromit, like G-R-O-M-M-E-T. And it didn't fare any better in this process than Material UI or Chakra UI, which are the two other main component libraries I'm familiar with. Um, so anyways, I was really frustrated. That was a long backstory, but basically it was like, why is this so hard? This seems like the most basic thing. This is, seems like where you should start with. And um, at a previous, for a previous client, I actually built some of these layout components and they worked great. Unfortunately, I built them for that company and I can't use them for myself. Um, I could remake them, but it's like, why do I need to? Like, this should be so basic. This should be how it starts with. Um, and that just sort of led me down this rabbit hole into how we create application UIs in general, and then into what, when should you actually, and I know it's, yeah. So anyways, I was like, when, when should I even be using React for this? Is there something better to use for this? When should we actually use React in 2023? Like today, like if I'm starting a new startup like this, should I be using React? Should I be using something else? How do I figure this out? So that's what I set out to do is just outline, okay, should I, like, how, how do I figure this out? So that's what we're going to go through next is 